Welcome back to Smitty's World. Today we're going to have a look at the focus question. What is the relationship between physical fitness, training and movement efficiency? And specifically having a look at the health related components of fitness. Cardiorespiratory endurance refers to the ability of the working muscles to take up and use the oxygen that is breathed in during exercise and transfer to the muscle cells. Cardiorespiratory endurance is considered as one of the most important health related fitness components. The importance of this system is really evident in endurance events such as cycling, triathlons and marathons. These athletes have to train their cardiorespiratory system so that they ensure that they get a delivery of adequate quantities of high blood, so a high cardiac output. They have a functional ventilation system so that their lungs and their respiratory system is working properly. And they have a good transport system or their circulatory system to ensure that efficient and speedy delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the cells is done. The most common fitness test that we use to measure our cardiorespiratory endurance is a multi-stage fitness test or more commonly known as the beep test. Muscular strength is the ability to exert force against a resistance in a single maximal effort. Muscular strength is required for all sports and there is considerable variation in the strength requirements within certain sports and some playing positions may require more strength than others. Strength is particularly important for athletes who participate in weightlifting and gymnastics as well as games such as rugby. Having good overall body strength can improve performance and reduce the risk of injury. To test muscular strength we use a hand grip dynamometer test. Muscular endurance is the ability of the muscles to endure physical work or activity for extended periods of time without fatigue. Muscular endurance is really important for activities where the contraction of the same muscle or group of muscles is repeated for periods of time without rest. So for example, activities such as cycling, cross-country running, skiing, bushwalking and rowing, um, you really use specific muscle groups and contract them repeatedly to perform the skill. If the muscle group tires, obviously this has a negative effect on the performance in that the athlete can no longer contract repeatedly to perform the skill. To test muscular endurance, we use a sit-up test where the athlete does sit-ups repeatedly until they start to fatigue. Flexibility is the range of motion around a joint or the ease of joint movement. Similar to cardiorespiratory endurance, flexibility is also a really important health related component of fitness because it has a direct relation to our capacity to exert physical activity and it also decreases our chance of injury. Flexibility is important for all sports but is more commonly identified with sports like gymnastics or yoga. The sit and reach test is a test that's used to measure our flexibility. Body composition refers to the percentage of fat as opposed to lean body mass in a human being. When we look at body composition for athletes, we look at the proportions of various body tissues, so for example fat, muscle, bones and organs, and their influences on body mass. Body composition helps us to work out the level of storage fuel required for muscle activity. Having too little or too much storage fuel or fat can significantly affect health and physical performance. A skin fold test is the most common form of testing that we use to measure body composition for athletes.